So I oftentimes get asked by both IT professionals and by lawyers to elaborate on a write blocker. Um, so when we're talking about a write blocker, we're trying to ensure that we prevent writing anything to a digital storage device. And this can be a hard drive, this can be a flash drive, this can be a, a compact flash or SD card, or literally any type of other device uh, where digital, that can be used for digital storage and information can be written to. And the reason why it's important is from a forensic investigative perspective, when we're looking at uh, something that holds potential evidence, um, oftentimes, it's some type of a crime scene and even if it's not a criminal case we still have to treat it like a, a crime scene and any changes just like with a physical crime scene you wouldn't want someone running around putting their thumbprint on things and muddying up the water so to speak so it's very similar with uh, digital evidence we want to ensure that that stays as pristine and unaltered as as possible and a write blocker helps with that in preventing to write any further information to that particular storage device. Now sometimes we want to be careful to not write to a storage device um, but that's usually not sufficient so we want a write blocker which will have the physical properties to actually prevent writing to those devices. So whenever we look at digital storage and we're looking at an interface that connects, be it via an, an IDE or SATA cable or anything else, uh, we have lines that are for reading and lines that are for writing. And basically what happens with a write blocker, the um, write lines are being um, removed or, or interrupted oftentimes via a, a switch. And so physically, um, that functionality is being prevented. Now there is also software write blockers, for example, it, that function a little bit different, uh, but same concept that we're preventing writing to anything. So let's actually go ahead and let's take a look at a few write blockers. All right, so I have a few examples here. Uh, we can see here, this is a SCSI write blocker. We have the SCSI interface right here. So a SCSI hard drive would be connected here and the output to the computer, uh, we have FireWire 400, FireWire 800 and USB 2.0. Uh, this is an older style device. Uh, that's why we only have a USB 2.0 and, and FireWire, uh, but SCSI drives are still in use in circulation, uh, especially in, in servers. Um, so always good to have one around. Uh, up to the next here, this here is a SATA and IDE write blocker. You can see right here, this is the IDE connector for an IDE hard drive. And we have here a SATA connector for a SATA hard drive. And then we have our power right here. And in terms of the interface connection to the computer, we have again FireWire 400 and 800, USB 2.0. And for a faster connection, we have eSATA right here. Next in line, uh, we have here a USB 3.0 write blocker. Okay, uh, this one is a bit fancier. It has a, um, a display, as we can see here. And we would connect a USB thumb drive, as I have right here. It's a SanDisk thumb drive or flash drive. Um, this one is a 128 gigs. So we connect that back in here. And we can see it's a Tableau T8U. That's the model of this USB write blocker. Okay, at this point it says the device is not connected. I need to push it in a little bit more. Okay. Booting it up again, and here we can see we have uh, power, and now we have that right block LED light that came on, and it says the device is recognized as a SanDisk. We can see the sector count, and everything is ready and good to go. 
the other side of this connector is a USB 3.0. So essentially just connect the USB cable to our laptop or desktop computer running the forensic software. Next in line, we have another write blocker. Uh, this one is also a write blocker um, that has an LED display. It's a UltraDock V5, and this is for a SATA hard drive. And essentially functions very similarly. We connect a SATA hard drive to the write blocker. The write blocker prevents uh, the write signal from being transmitted and interrupts that. And so therefore, when we're connecting to a computer, only the actual read signal is being transmitted. So we have a physical interruption right here in the hardware write blocker that prevents writing and altering the drive. And we have the USB connected that we connect to the laptop or desktop. And we can see here, this is the ultra dock. You can see ID, firmware version and everything. And yeah, so these are a few examples here of write blockers and uh, how they would be used. And again, uh, there's other write blockers that I could show you guys, such as uh, for a SD card, a compact flash card. Uh, essentially, every time we have a type of storage device, um, we want to connect a write blocker to prevent alteration of the digital evidence while we make what's called a forensic image copy or a forensic clone. Once we make a clone, we then continue working off of the clone and either return the original evidence or we um, lock it up somewhere in a safe.